Hello everybody, this is uh, the follow-up video to show you how to install Yosemite on our motherboard which is uh, MSI H81M uh, E33 uh, I have an uh, Intel Celeron processor G1820 uh, and I, ha I have found um, a workaround to make it work uh, you start your computer with the uh, clover you uh, first you go to you go to options you enter kex dev mode equal one just like me here it's kex dash dev dash mode equal one and then this is very important you go to binary patching menu here I have changed the fake CPU ID to 0 by 0001 06 E0 and uh, I I allowed the CAX patching kernel support CPU kernel LAPIC patch kernel Haswell E patch kernel PM patch Apple Intel CPU power management patch Apple RTC patch this is a workaround anyway, so there might be other ways to do it. So this is how I, I managed to to get to the installer and install Yosemite. I'm gonna start the installer. It should start now. Mm. Uh, once again, this is a workaround, so I'm not uh, an expert, I'm just a uh, hacking toss uh, like everybody trying to boot up uh, Mac OS X on my PC. So it's starting, this is good news. Sorry for the bad quality of the video because I'm doing it with the mobile phone. I don't have a, a video camera. Here we go. Mm, this is the welcome screen, and uh, I think you should know what to do next. You just click on continue, continue, agree, and then you you select your hard drive. You erase it. You know, you format your hard drive to Mac OS X Extended Journal. This is where I have my. This is where I have uh, Yosemite installed. So I'm not gonna install it again. You just or oh, you can partition if you want to install a Windows and uh, Mac OS X, or you just erase the the hard drive and you give it a name, and that's it. It should start. Uh, thank you for watching. <clears throat> As I said, this is a workaround, so there might be other ways to do it. Uh, you just uh, need to search. And thanks again for watching. And please do like my webpage, which is www.repuestos-eva.com. Thanks again. Bye.